più drai farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Welcome back to another Mukbang Monday. It's your favorite dynamic McDo B Mars and Shanti. I'm eating something extra special today, which, which is spaghetti and meatballs. This was a staple growing up in my childhood. Really? Yeah. Not in mine because me and my brother did not like marinara growing up. Oh yeah, I remember you saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm still like not crazy about it. If I had a choice between like Alfredo and marinara, I'd pick Alfredo, but I like it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you'll tolerate it? Like I like it, it's fine. But it's not like my favorite. Yeah, my, I have sauce on my arm. <laughs> my dad was a really good cook. I don't know if I've said that. That's why how I kind of got into cooking. Mm -hmm. He would always cook for us every single night and he would always make meatballs. That's like a, what he was like, a you specialty. Eat, eat meatball subs. Max loves I meatball used to subs. love meatball subs. I like dream about a meatball, a vegan meatball sub. Really? Yeah, that's like one of my like foods that I've always wanted to. Maybe if we found like have. a bigger, Vegan meatball? Because I feel like those bad boys are huge. Very tiny. Oh, meatball sub Like ones? meatball sub ones, yeah. yeah. And these are tiny. You have to put like 30 meatballs in a sub. Right. But yeah, um, that's that's one of my favorite foods is meatball subs. Oh. Um, so today, these are Trader Joe's meatless meatballs. Mm. Is where we got these babies. And we made this delicious, cheesy garlic loaf. Yes. Um, I don't know if you can really tell from afar, but you saw the food pond. I got a French baguette, and then we put like just mozzarella cheese. Did you put any garlic in it? I put, yeah, I put two cloves of minced garlic. Mm -hmm. We really should have filmed how to make this because uh, it's going to be bomb. It's going to be bomb. <laughs> <laughs> but I lathered it with earth balance. I put two cloves of minced garlic in between, and then I smashed in as much vegan mozzarella as I could, and then I baked it for like how long is that? 15 minutes? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And we yeah. also have vegan Parmesan cheese on top, which don't you have a recipe? I have a recipe, recipe on my channel. Yes. So we will link that in the description below if you're interested in making this little crumble cheesy goodness. Yeah, I can't wait to eat. Um, I'm also, so hungry. Um, in one of our other mukbangs, we were eating oyster, drinking Oyster Bay wine mm -hmm. and you lovely people in the comments let me know that that wasn't vegan, which I had no idea. I guess I, I didn't even think to check. I didn't know wine could not be vegan. I, I thought it was just grapes. I thought like I fermented. Knew, I knew beer couldn't be vegan, but I didn't know wine. But anyways, this is vegan wine today, and it's called Justin. It's real good. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. Also got it from Trader Joe's. Mmm. I used to hate white wine. Really? But then I realized that red wine would give me a really bad rash. Oh wow. Like on my chest and my triceps, and I think it's because I'm allergic to uh, sulfates. Well, sulfates are in white wine too. Yeah, if I drink enough, <laughs> oh, I'll get it from white wine, but from red wine, it's like really powerful. a glass, and I'm like, <sniffs> wow. Yeah, I've always known just Yeah, I've always wanted, they traded, they sell sulfate-free wine. Really? Those. Yeah. I should try it. Remember we went out with uh, your friend Kathy, yeah. my friend Elizabeth, and she was like, are you okay? Yeah. And I was like, yes, I'm just, this is my fourth glass of wine, and here we are. <laughs> just get the hives. Yeah. Do you want to do meatball, or do you, uh, no, let's do a... A swirl. A swirl. A swirl. Gotta get Italian on you. Yeah. Mm. This is just to work on my swirl technique. I always drop it. It's bringing me back to childhood. Oh, she geez. is. Mmm. 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 Oh my. So good. Wow. I need a napkin. I know I put a lot on my fork. You want to know a secret? Yes. We're going to need ESPN to be turned down a little bit. Do you want some headphones? Sorry. <laughs> um, the secret is, I don't know if I really want to tell you this, this sauce is from the dollar store. Really? Yeah. No, I love a good discount. Me, I love a discount. I'm so glad I'm like that. <laughs> she loves a good discount. I I'm pretty sure I got the sweater from uh, Goodwill or something. That's a cute sweater. Like my both my parents are in the Air Force. Like I don't know why I'm wearing this. Not the Coast Guard. <laughs> <laughs> but it's totally fine. Okay, I'm gonna try meatball. Okay, should I do that too? Yeah. But but you've had these before? Yeah, I've had these before. 
Oh, well, I bought a bag and then we never banged it, so I just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little cold. Mmm. It was a good meatball. That's really good. I don't think it's too cold. Our cheesy bread took longer to melt than we were expecting. I like it though, the meatball. Yo. Is it good? Mm, really? <gasps> it's so <clears throat> cheesy. I just inhaled meatball down my windpipe. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Cheese is the best thing. <laughs> and like the gutter. <laughs> the butter and garlic. This is a bomb cheesy bread. Oh. I feel like all the mozzarella just like went. Yeah. I don't really see. Wow. Mm. That's the best thing we've ever made. I don't know. We should have really done the recipe. No, we just have to make it again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna say though. I was a little apprehensive to tell you about the sauce because I tell that to Colin and he's like, "Ew, I'm not eating that." <laughs> so I like, feel like what his reaction that is would be. Not even close to being <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I always want to go grocery shopping on the 99 cents, and you're like, "No." Yeah. Well, I feel like you shouldn't maybe buy produce from the 99 cents store. There's think. a lot of things you shouldn't buy from the 99 cents store. But sauce, you're okay with? No, I mean honestly, probably not. <laughs> yeah, I know. See, <laughs> you wouldn't. Well, if it's like canned goods, it should be fine. No, they source their products from interesting places. Like what? Like how, how all do you that know shit's this? coming straight from X place that produces it cheaply. Like, you know how we were just watching about honey? Yeah, yeah. I need you to speak up Same. for the bang. Yeah, you're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so you just think they source them from bad places? Like it's unethical? I mean, whether it is or not, the they're gonna cut corners when it comes to product quality. Um, that's yeah, fine. Well, I was just gonna film a video, a grocery haul from Nine Nine Cent Store, so I'm excited. I'm here for it. Thanks. <laughs> I live for the Nine Nine Cent Store. We have to make sure care. We have to make sure that we are careful not to clink oh. our um You're right, yeah. forks because oh I just realized I was doing that. Good thing you said that. Mm. This is so good. I haven't had this in so long. Mm -hmm. Either it's literally childhood memories. I want to slurp it, but I'm afraid if I slap the red sauce on my face, yeah, it'll be just there forever. And I'll make it a mess. Mm. Actually, I lied. Since I nanny on the weekends, which I talk about sometimes, you guys probably know. Uh, something that I can eat and they can both eat is pasta. So I make pasta every time I'm there, basically. It's smart. So I lied. I do. I don't eat spaghetti, but they always have like elbows and sauce. Yeah. It has to be hard, like, cooking for the children if you have, like, completely different diets in them. Well, I just, um, bring my own food and make them whatever they want. Yeah. It's not really hard, but I just love a good elbow. Mm -hmm. Who made his appearance? Hi, baby. Hello. I'm just feeling lovely. Anyway, um... I was gonna just, were you gonna say what we're gonna talk about today? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, first, if you're new here, welcome. We are Mukbang Monday, we post on Monday, Wednesdays, and sometimes Fridays. Yeah. And we always have a fun mukbang, recipe, and a chit chat. Boom. For you guys. If you are a returning subscriber, we love you guys so much. We have the nicest subscribers. You guys leave the best comments for us. Um, and we love you. Yeah, and also we talked about this in, hmm, I, it was our Wednesday video last week. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be sound. I thought I could. <laughs> you were just sawing down a tree in front of me. You were like, and I know. <laughs> it's like every time I try to record a video in our house, there's like the leaf blower. Oh. <laughs> a jackhammer. We're like. Oh, okay. Sorry. Ah. Uh, anyway. Anyways, um, I was saying. <laughs> oh, on Wednesdays we talked about that we're gonna have to retire the Foodie Fridays for a little bit because Bimas is doing some intense travel in these next next couple of weeks. Couple. I was gonna say month. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And we uh decided that we're gonna do a topic um during the week instead of Fridays now mm -hmm. because we're not gonna do Foodie Fridays. So they'll kind of be randomly like. 
spread out throughout these videos. Uh huh. Um, I think we did one last Wednesday. We did a topic, right? Yeah. That's I just fin finished editing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So today. Oh my god, sorry, so cheesy. Me and Chantal decided that we are going to talk about weird jobs we've had. Yeah. Because I thought about this because in our Wednesday video, we were talking about how to pick a career. Mm -hmm. And I was like, we, have, we don't really have a career. We have like so many jobs. I have like an <laughs> aspiration as a career, like yeah. YouTube and dance. And then really I'm just doing 500 random things. Yeah. So I actually sat down and started thinking like, what are some weird things I've done for money? There's a lot. You guys will LOL. Um, one of the weirdest ones that I could think of that I only did once was I was a walking table with champagne glasses and uh, treats on them. Oh yeah. So I had I've like a huge do that. headdress and I had to like walk around and people would just like pick food off of me. Mm -hmm. It was very weird. Really? Do you like interact with them or are you a table so you can't talk? Well, <laughs> I, for me, I was like the event I was, at, I was at was really like high caliber. So I wasn't really supposed to like talk. But if I did, I was supposed to be like, Oh yes, like mm. here you go, ballet hands, and like oh here you go, sir. Like not like have a full on conversation with the guests. Yeah, but that was pretty, pretty random. Like that's a good one. The walking table. What's what's one that you have? Um. Well, the very first one that I thought of when I was brainstorming is I didn't work it for very long. It's when I first moved out to LA. Should I go in chronological order? Actually, I didn't. That was when I was like um. I just graduated college. So it was when I was freshly new to LA and when I moved to LA, I like just decided I wasn't gonna get a job for the first couple months. I just really wanted to like invest in dancing and like getting headshots and setting up like all the casting websites, taking class and yeah. And then I was like, holy shit, I ran out of money. Like I need a job ASAP. <laughs> so I was on Craigslist like, Searching for the next available position anywhere. That's what I did like my first week of moving here. Like for a week, I was like, oh, I took list. some time. I was like, I got like five grand. I'll be good for a year. Like, <laughs> life is good. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, shit. And then, like two months later, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm in debt. <laughs> so don't do that. You're like, mom, please. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> You, you need a job. I remember when I turned when I turned 23, I get kicked off of all of like my health insurance and everything because oh, yeah. of the military. And my dad was like, "Yeah, and you kind of take up like all the data on the family plan, so I'm gonna <laughs> kick you off the cell phone plan too." And I was like, <coughs> "That is the shadiest." <laughs> I was 23, like, three. That is so young." 23. I was on my own, so yeah. I know I pay my health insurance, my dental insurance, my car insurance, my cell phone, like everything at once. I was like, okay, cool. Just, All at once. Just my dad was like, yeah, you're taking up a lot of data, girl. I was like, dad, no, <laughs> no, don't do me like this, please, no. Wow. Uh, and then he's like, so you're going to need to get three more jobs. <laughs> oh. Three was all. Anyway, so you were on Craigslist. So I was hunting on Craigslist and I saw this, the title was secretary in a doctor's office and I was like mm. you love a good Craigslist scheme yeah I was like that would be like fun I'm ready for an office job like I've never done that before like that, would, <laughs> that sounds great <laughs> <laughs> hashtag me like, <laughs> like you hashtag like picture yourself like checking yeah, I was like I need some business casual attire like I'm gonna go buy some like flats some slacks <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh so I go and um, it is a medical marijuana doctor's <laughs> office. And so I go into my interview and the other girl there has like bright pink hair, just is like stoned out of her mind. The guy that I went to interview with, like his eyes were like so red that they looked like they were like bloody and they were just like completely glazed over. And he's like, yeah, so I think you'd be a really good fit here. He like couldn't really look at me. And you're like, yeah, me too. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be a good fit here. But anyways, I went to a full two days of work. I, I am completely sweating. forgot you did that. I know, I'm sweaty too. Yeah. Sweating like. And it would have been great, um, but I would be like the only secretary and I needed some flexibility. So that's the reason why I didn't stay there. But yeah. Didn't somebody like, I don't know, this was a year's, this was like one of our friends, like 
the owner of their weed dispensary got shot or something. Yeah, and then and I was like, oh, okay. Exactly. And one of my Legal, friends, but yeah, she worked at a dispensary and she quit. And then like the day after she left, her boss like got shot in his house, which is terrifying. So I'm actually pretty thankful that I didn't stay this with that. so home. scary. Yeah. Another um, really random one that me and Chantal did together was we worked at a karaoke <laughs> bar. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, you lasted longer than me there. I quit after like two weeks. But I just wanted to make extra money on top of the club. Mm -hmm. But the guy who owned this karaoke bar was like not trying to give me any flexibility and he actually fired me via text. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was really great. Oh my god, people, it was such a dump. The guy did not want to have like anything electronic, so we had those, we had to handwrite everybody's orders. And it would get like so disorganized, you'd have a stack of orders this big, and he and then he'd be like, Your numbers are off at the end of the night, and you're like, Really, bro? Like, yeah, look let me at just this. stick through my 50 papers yeah. that I've accumulated. And then he was like no, he super prided, sketchy. He prided himself on having no POS system. Yeah, and just like Everything using was, like one of those cash registers that looks like cha ching. <laughs> yeah. like, like you had to hand plunk in all the digits and then cha ching it. It was terrible. And the people were so bad at singing. It was like, See, I thought that was kind of fun, like the karaoke aspect. Oh my god, I would, my ears would be bleeding. I would hide in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it so much. Yeah, he. it was just not a very flexible job. job. And yeah, the so. guy was such a creep. He would never look at us. Do you remember that? He would never look at us in the eyes. So he'd be like, Brittany, I need you to uh, remake the coffee and uh, do this. And I'm like, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. Well, look, he I'm right here. Like, he would explain something that he wanted to get done, and then you're just sitting sitting there, and he's like, "Did you hear me?" And, and I'm like, like, "I don't know what you're talking to me. <laughs> Where were you looking? Yeah, <laughs> what were you doing?" Oh my god, no. that was a fun place. That was <laughs> that was terrible. Um, I got fired real fast. Also, at that place, the hours were just like so random. No, it was. Um, you had to come in for like the dinner shift, which started at like I think five. And then you would stay until it closed at like three. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what, what the hell is this? <laughs> like normally if you work a club, you go, in, you go in at like nine. Yeah, it was super long shifts. Oh my God. Speaking of um, weed, mm -hmm. from your dispensary job, another job I worked like, I think I did two events with them is I was a promo girl for Swisher Sweet, which oh, is- when, In Pittsburgh? No, here. Really? Yeah. I have a ton of Swisher Sweets in that, like, cabinet right there because I just don't know what to do with them. Oh, yeah. I've seen them. Because I don't smoke Swisher Sweets and, like, what do you really do with Swisher Sweets? You put weed in them and you smoke a blunt. Yeah. Like, everyone knows that. And so it'd be so awkward because we're not supposed to talk about the weed aspect. We're supposed to talk about Swisher Sweet. Like, People would be like, well, how good is this at wrapping weed or, like, whatever? And I'd be like, sir, this is the blueberry. <laughs> Swisher Sweet. It has nothing to do with weed. I don't know sport. what you're talking about. <laughs> As if people like enjoy smoking them on yeah. their own. Like, oh yeah, I definitely want a Swisher Sweet yeah. for its sake. And then he'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get 20? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, here, just leave me alone. I was like the worst promo girl. I was like, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I have like pictures of me doing it. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -oh, no, no. oh, that's good. <laughs> What about you? Um, oh, you just missed the good, good pull part. Wait, I had a good one and I can't think of it now. Did you write them down? No, they're in my brain. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dunkle? Dunkle! I don't want to talk. That's not like that interesting. Both of us were dog walkers. Her through WAG and me through like an actual company. Did yeah. I tell you how I got fired? Slash quit? No. I was... <laughs> no, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get fired slash quit. <laughs> it's one or the other. I believe this is the one exception. So I was working EDC. I had go-go danced mm -hmm. like this like three years ago <clears throat> for it. And then my friends went to EDC and were like getting bottle service there. So I was supposed to end the weekend Sunday, but they're like, yo, stay one more night. Monday, I'm from Vegas, I'll hook it up in the clubs, and I had never partied in Vegas, so I called my dog walker, but the problem was, is like, I was the only one right. doing it, and I told her when I got the job, like, I go to auditions a lot, I do these things, like, she's like, yeah, whenever you can't do it, I'll just walk them, like, super nonchalant about it, and then every time I'd be like, I have an audition, she'd be like, 
<laughs> like you're putting me out. And I'm like, I thought this was a part of the deal. So yeah. then I was like getting to my like wits end with her about like auditions and stuff. And finally I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay in Vegas one more day. And she was like, I really need you to walk these dogs. And I was like, yeah, I think this isn't working out anymore. Like you're gonna fire me because I'm gonna be a no call, no show. I'm not coming. I'm not yeah. walking those dogs. Like, well, no, that's very important. You need a flexible job. Yeah, I get an audition, like, I'm gonna go. Right. But it was sucked because I would walk dogs from 11 to 2. It was, like, all day. Prime audition time. Yeah. And Mid I had, day. like, four families I would walk for. It was insane. Yeah. So I walked dogs for WAG, which is in a lot of cities now. I'm sure you guys might have heard of it. Um, but then I ended up just this one family I walked for. They were like, hey, we'll just pay you if you come. You can come anytime during the day, and we'll just, like, give you cash. And I was like, perfect. Yeah. And it was this huge mastiff, like small horse. pictures that I'm gonna be like posting. Yeah, we here. need to put in some pictures. I loved him. He was a huge baby. He would literally, if you sat on the floor, he would sit in your lap, but he weighs like 200 pounds. Yeah, he's like, like his head is bigger than my head. Yeah, I have pictures of our heads together. I'm like, well, I actually ended up uh, dog sitting him a couple times. Like he came here for, I think it was like a month. It was a month. It was literally a month. Um, mm -hmm. And so we just had this huge... Because the owner was pregnant. Yeah, she was having a baby. And she wanted like that month to like settle in with the kid before having a giant dunkle around. Right. And she wanted to like introduce them properly, I think. Uh, but yeah, that was fun. It was just a good dunkle. I, I really liked dog walking because it was... It's just Active. like you get to go on a walk. Yeah. Yeah. But I just felt like the money wasn't good enough. Yeah. Same. Okay. Especially when I did WAG, like... I was expecting it to be like Uber. I don't really want to shade wag at all, but it just wasn't as like popping as I hoped it would be. Like I would be lucky if I got like one walk a day. Yeah. And I was just like, this isn't cutting it. I mean, you're not even making a lot like for me. I'd make $15 an hour, but like I was walking forever, like miles and miles. So I'm like, I don't know if this is worth it because I'm exhausted. Like I can't go take class. I could go to an audition and I'd be like, and I'd be walking in the sun. Like, see, I like that. I like, I was like, come on, we're walking. <laughs> Gotta go, keep go. up. We go. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna sprint. Um, I remember another job. So out in LA, you will just do the most random gigs. This mm -hmm. one time, Brittany actually got me this job because she was on a veil. I wore a Tinkerbell costume oh, yeah. for like five hours while this like rich millionaire family, who was throwing a like Disney themed party for their five year old twins. They like came and like walked through and I just had to stand in a Tinkerbell costume holding a like tray of sweets. Yeah. And they were like, hmm, yeah, Tinkerbell uh, like needs something else. They were like, her outfit, like that's not like what Tinkerbell looks like. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I just got called in like an hour ago. Yeah. So. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, that same company, I've been like a bubble girl where you're just wearing like a bubble skirt and you like blow bubbles. It's like atmospheric modeling. Oh yeah. You're just like a part of the party, but it's like so stupid. You're just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just... And everyone's just like... Okay. <laughs> so embarrassing. That's so funny. But also like, even just like go-go dancing. I've worn the it's... most ridiculous costumes. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> I don't even know, like, at this club I work at, still, they'll put me in a gold lion's head and then just, like, gold duct tape over my boobs. Well, you have a hat, a hat on, so no one knows who you are. Yeah, but it's also, like, I can't breathe. <laughs> and then the hat will fall down to the eyes or, like, down here, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I'm, like, trying to dance in heels. I'm like, this has to be so unattractive. Yeah. I can't even imagine. No, you look great. What I look like. The only reason I can justify doing go-go dancing jobs right here is because I'm like, I don't really have any friends, so <laughs> nobody even knows who I am. It doesn't matter. Wait, but I just thought of the fun. Like everyone go-go dance, though, at some point in time. Yeah, I do. You're a dancer, you go go I actually really like it. I want to get a go-go job. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I, I'm, I think it's funny because... shit on it, and then I'm like, <laughs> yeah, actually, I want a go-go dancing job. Well, just when I said, I feel like, can you handle the hours? Like, my call time tomorrow is 11.45 p.m. <sighs> My bedtime. <laughs> That's like an hour after your bedtime. You should go to bed like 10. Yeah. Well, no, I like it because it's just like a couple hours. Mm-hmm. You know. But I was going to say the literal cream of the crop, funniest job that we've both worked. 
in Pittsburgh, PA, we both would dance on the bar, Coyote Ugly style, mm -hmm. make a strong 50 bucks a night. In, in Pittsburgh, though, that's pretty good. You think? Yeah, our, my rent was only 350 That's true. So I made, like, a good amount of my rent. <laughs> but it was funny because we were... Like cocktail waitresses, we call them. They call them Lucky Charms. Oh, shots girls. Basically. So you would either be a shot girl, dance on the bar, or like get people's names to be on the email list. Yeah. I this and then is like, like the it best would be in like had rotation. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Love this job. Honestly, it was probably the most money I've ever made. Even more than bartending because like it would just be like pocketed cash. Yeah. And but you would so you go on cycles like one one weekend you're shot girl, one weekend you're getting names, and then the one weekend you're party starting. That's what they called it. Like. You get on the bar to get other girls on the bar because that was the whole point of the club like the coyote ugly theme and you just like be like i, I remember every time the cot and i joe would come on <laughs> i would just like leap down from the bar no she would like be like yeah get up it's cotton eye joe time she and, would like uh, find you guys I'm, and be like it's cotton eye joe time <laughs> what was the other one uh cupid shuffle cha-cha slide cha-cha slide no what is the one that was like to the front to the back and then you body roll, body roll. I know the dance, but I can't think of the song. It was like a really popular. <sighs> hey guys, this is B Mars editing, and I just want to say the song I was thinking of is The Wobble. Anyway, continue. <laughs> Will you shut the oven off? Also, you bring over the wine. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, know how, um. I thought, you know what I thought you were going to say? What? The game show we did. Oh, <laughs> this is actually cream of the crop. I don't like to talk about this. Brittany like thinks it's funny. I think it's mortifying. <laughs> I think it's the funniest thing I've ever done. No, I'm so embarrassed. Okay, so, God, was this like two years ago now? Yeah, that's crazy. So, <clears throat> on LA Casting, they were looking for ballerina friends. Yeah. And I was like, perfect. And I submitted us. And we went into like, we had like two or three auditions. For a game show though. For a game show, which it wasn't even guaranteed money unless you win. Yeah. But they wanted to make sure you have like high energy. Cause they were not gonna put on you. Yeah, this was a on lengthy TV. process. It was a really lengthy process. We were like, oh my God. <laughs> and then the day came that we were on the game show. We were on Idiot Test. And if any of you can find the footage no, of us, I've been looking, look I will send you $50 don't. if you can find the footage and we can do a react video. I hope nobody I've wanted it. to do it for two years and I can't find the footage anywhere. But well, anyway, my life is <laughs> over. <laughs> it's this thank you. Wait, you know who Colin is? You know in uh, Simply Now Logical when Ben is her drink slave? <gasps> That's yes. really Colin. Colin is our wine slave. Where she's like, give me That's tea. That's not me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not going to that party. <laughs> I'm not going to that party. <laughs> that was the funniest part of your last vlog. I know. <laughs> thank you. Damn Colin gross. doesn't even know what we're talking about because he doesn't watch any of our videos. Thanks. Guys, I was just gonna say how lucky you are to have a live audience. So we can see if we're actually funny or not. That's true. Do you understand? It's alright. <sighs> okay, no, but so what, back to the game show. Yeah. So what we didn't know when we got booked for this game show was they shoot like 40 episodes in a day. Yeah. And you don't know if you're episode one or episode 40, but oh. you're just stuck there. Oh. And you're not getting paid hourly. And we were like last. Call time, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. at like 8 p.m. We were the one of the last episodes. I'm pretty filmed. sure we were last. Yeah, if not last. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were last. But they don't let you have your cell phones. They don't give you a TV. They give you like a stack of magazines. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. And like, and they're like, have fun. An apple at one point. I feel like or like terrible food. Know, like chewy bars is what we had. And I, I wish I had my phone to record us because by hour <laughs> six. Like we'd been there since 6 a.m. Yeah. In like full hair and makeup, and they like picked out our outfits for literally ballerina outfits um, and we started freaking I'm out so because we're both really active people and in our little like dressing room we were like jumping off the furniture like oh no like, we need to go yeah. <laughs> like the guy came in to interview us one more time before like we recorded and he was like you guys are hilarious and i was like i need to live yeah <laughs> get me out of this room maybe that's why they keep you trapped in yeah so you become like literally psychotic yeah and <laughs> Literally. It, <laughs> it did work. And then for the first, like, there was, like, rounds on the game show. The first round, we were both so nervous. I got a no, heat rash. I was so nervous. Yeah, they had to cut. They had to stop filming and put makeup on my chest they because like, I started getting red and blotchy. And I was like, <sighs> I remember, like, going to press the buttons and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and they would tell you things like, 
If so, you could tell if you won the round or not before the host had like announced it. So I remember we went, and then the um, people we were going against went, and like from their answers on the board, I knew that we had won. And they were like, "Don't react until the host announces it." <laughs> and literally, I knew we won, like to go on to the, like the big round. And I just literally start like high kick jumping. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and they were like, "Stop!" Like, no, no. <laughs> and I was like, "I'm so excited!" <laughs> I like couldn't hold it in. I like didn't follow any of their rules. <laughs> Your rules. <laughs> It was so embarrassing, and then I lost us the 10 grand. I'm still so sad. It's my biggest regret in life. It's fine. We I'm have to say that. <laughs> it was so it's sad. Fine. No, we like made it to the final round, and you can win 10 grand, or you can win like what's in your bank. So I think we both won like $900. Yeah. Like eight or $900, which is like still better than nothing. Yeah. But for a full day of being stuck, stuck in, in a room. room. But like, the. The whole game is like puzzles, and I was so stressed that I just went with my first instinct, which is the worst thing you can do on the show. You have to like take a step back and like think about how they're trying to mess with you. Yeah, they do mess with you. And I lost us uh, 10 grand. It's all right. Well, no, I think also they always tell you like pick any answer, just don't don't pick no answer. Yeah. It's better to pick something, but don't let the time And the, the last round, we only had 30 seconds. And then you had to and I went me first time. and I was afraid to like take up all the time. Yeah. So I was like <gasps> like I, I need to give her something. Oh, and the thing is, I don't know if we could really talk about this, but they were like rooting for us to win so hard. They, they were like, loved we us. Love <laughs> Sorry, our car just died, so we have to get another one. Oh! Did you hear your shin? I just jammed my shin into the table. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, fine. So anyway, the most embarrassing thing in the world. And what were you saying? They wanted us to win? Oh yeah, they were rooting us to win so hard, they were like, listen, it's better for our ratings if you win, so like, we need you to win. And I was like, I'm not that smart. <laughs> and when we didn't win, I remember just being like, like the ending credits, just being like... <laughs> <laughs> like the host is like trying to like talk and be cheery and I'm just fucking pissed, like... <laughs> and you're like, it's okay, it's okay, and I was like, don't talk to me. <laughs> I need to be alone right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go duck crawl in a hole. I think the most mortifying part of all this is that we were literally wearing pink tights, lead tights, and the ballet slippers. And they would make us do these crazy things. They made us ballet dance. <laughs> it was, And we were both shaking we so were, hard. And the floor was literally like plastic, acrylic. Yeah. It was so terrifying. And so we would go try to do something and just like... <laughs> and you know what's the funniest thing about this? <laughs> Talking about like weird jobs. GSN loved us so much that they call us in to test out new game shows. Oh, yeah. That they're like wanting to put forward to producers. And I think that's so random. Like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a game show tester. I'm a professional uh, game show tester. Yeah, we like have tested out one of the new TV shows that I think is out now. Wasn't it accepted? I don't, it goes, got accepted, but I don't think it, it's out yet, so we shouldn't say it. Oh, I feel bad because that girl emailed us again to do another one. Yeah. But I was like out of town. And I was like, I can't respond to you. Yeah, and then I was like, I'm not going to do that, Brittany. Yeah. <laughs> We're a package. <laughs> Sorry about that. I feel bad. I never responded. Hmm. What's the best job you've ever worked? Hmm. Besides dance, I love bartending. Like, like what place? McFadden's. Really? Mm-hmm. I love that job, too. Like, there was just so much freedom there. And, like, if I got too drunk, which is, like, a thing. Like, you drink behind the bar. You drink with your customers. It was so laid back. You would just get up on the bar and dance. Like, <laughs> night made. Like, yeah. oh, you want me to dance when I'm drunk? Girl, that's my life. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. So, I loved that. I really like the club I work at now, but it's just not as much freedom. And I like being a bartender because... You have that power of like the bar, like when you're a bottle waitress, like people can touch you and oh. you know what I mean? At, when you're a bartender and someone's like too drunk, you can cut them off or... Oh, I don't know how you do that. You know what I mean? So I really, I really like being a bartender. What about you? Mm. You've worked like at a coffee shop, you've worked at like a bunch of like normal jobs too. But still random compared to like being a dancer. Mmm. My, I think my favorite place, I was so happy when I worked at Liquiteria in New York City. Mm. And the reason why is because everybody there just like wanted to be friends. 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and it was just great camaraderie, like really positive attitudes. Like we would hang out after work. And I feel like other places, restaurants I've worked at, like people aren't really like looking for a friendship. They're trying to work and go home, you know? Yeah. I feel like your coworkers really make or break a situation. Yeah, I'm really lucky my current situation, all my coworkers are bomb.com. Yeah. Um, I, I actually do kind of like my nannying job now that she's paying me a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Just because it is like so much freedom. Like I have time to like edit my videos when they're like doing their homework and stuff like that. Yeah, it was nice. Um, what, I, I can't really think of any other jobs I've had. I, I love could, doing that Christmas show. My, yeah, our Christmas show was really fun. Another random job I had was when I was 17, I got my first dance job at Bush Gardens mm -hmm. in Williamsburg, Virginia. But since I was so young, they wanted me to do like the intern program. So like I had to work at Bush Gardens, like a normal job and then like do dance stuff with them, like learn the dances or like take stilt walking training classes and like blah, 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 whatever. And the actual job of working at Bush Gardens was the worst job in the world. Really? Why? So, Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, Virginia is set up in countries. So it's like, oh, I'm in Germany, I'm in Ireland, I'm in England or Scotland. And like the food and the atmosphere is based off that country. I worked in Ireland. My uniform was a long black skirt down to my ankles, a tan top that was down to here, and a gray, a green vest. Were you sweating balls? Sweating balls. And I would wear them with my like Nikes. Like black Nikes, because you had to wear black shoes. And so you could either be in like the Irish jewelry shop, which I never was, because it was always like the older like people were in there. There was a dragon place with like weird like mystical stuff, which I loved working in because it had air conditioner mm -hmm. and it had like glowing fans. You could work in the kid shop selling stuffed animals, which is the worst. <laughs> but even even worse than that was you could be put on like the outdoor booth selling like waters to hot customers like it would be like waters or Gatorades or whatever and I remember being so hot standing outside in that green vest and long skirt that I would throw water bottles on the ground as hard as I can so they would break and so I could write them down as like inventory like problem and so I could chug them didn't like you drink the water no You'd have to get like a cup of water from wherever, but it's like while, you, while you're on the shift, you can't leave your position. Oh yeah. So I'd be like sweating, like, <laughs> and then I'd be like, and I'd just like break water bottles so I could jug them. Wow, that's rude that they should let you drink the water. I know. And I remember when I would like set up the stuffed animals and just one little shithead kid would come and like put his arm out <laughs> and I'd be like, no, <laughs> and he would be like, mm. And just shit. knock all the stuffed animals down that I just stacked. And I was like 16 at the time. And I was like, you know what? I could just pop you. I'm still <laughs> underage. And like, I wouldn't go to jail. Like, oh my God, it was the worst. Pretty you hate scrubs. Yeah. You're just like dirty, you know? If you just picked your nose, I know it. <laughs> oh, another, that reminds me of another random job. I'm about to go to, the reason I'm going to be gone so long mm -hmm. is after Miami, I'm going to Texas to MC some events for the final four. So basically, like, everyone knows that the Final Four is, like, college basketball tournament. So I'm going to be emceeing the events beforehand, so people are going to try to, like, win prizes and stuff. Which would be fine. It's just, like, someone tries to, like, make a basketball shot, and I'm like, ooh, sorry, Jimmy. Like, oh, that way look next time. Like, that's going to be so fun. <laughs> it's going to be me and Max. And it's going to be really hard for me, because I like to... Mess people? Cuss. Oh. <laughs> so I have to be like, ooh, you're a great person. Okay. Uh, just walk on. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I know that... Um, Wait, what's the age range? I have no idea. Because it's it's run by different people. Like, there's like, oh, um, American Express is over here and Cartoon Network is over here. And, like, a bunch of big brands, like, run different games where you can win prizes. And my agent was kind of hinting at me that they wanted a girl to work the Cartoon Network section. And it's me and Max. So I'm like... It's like, I can't do it. Is it going to be kids? The Cartoon Network session is. Oh. And they want, like, a girl probably because I'm less intimidating, but I'm like, Max is so good with kids. Like, one time we took a, we went to a playground to take a picture, and, like, kids were, like, chasing him, and he was, like, playing with them, and I was like, <laughs> gonna go wait in the car. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they want me to do, like, the emceeing for the kids. I'll be like, you stop! <laughs> Get off the floor! <laughs> it's going to be terrible! 
terrible. So when I get there, I'm just gonna be like, you should really have Max do it. I know he has a long beard, but he's a fine soul, <laughs> unlike me. <laughs> I used to not like kids until I started babysitting my kids. Now I think they're cute. No, your kids are like older. They're older, yeah. I'm so full. Me too. Mm, I like this bite. <sighs> I can't breathe. I only had two meatballs. Really? Yeah. You like it? They're so filling. Oh wait, before we finish this bang, I have <laughs> what, to say. What are you gonna say? <laughs> I have to start with saying, on top of spaghetti, all covered in chew. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And in my poor meatball. <laughs> Wait, is that the next one? <laughs> yeah. Rolled out the front door. Uh, the door. Rolled out the table and then drew a bush. Rolled, out, rolled off the table and in, wait, how did it go? Wait, no, we messed up. <laughs> rolled off the table and <laughs> into a, into a wait, bush and then my poor people was out of the bush. Wait, did we miss the bush? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> rolled off the table onto the floor and then my poor meatball rolled right out the door. How did it get to the bush? From the door to the bush. We're missing a line. Really? No, rolled it rolled right off the out the door. And into the garden and under a bush and then my oh. poor meatball. Was nothing but mush. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. It was a strong start there. Me and Shanti went through a day of just singing that. So no, you know what we were singing? Hmm. When the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza by that Samoe. That's a low note. I know. <laughs> I tried to hit it. I think I just like gave myself a heart attack. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, all right. I'm that's way too much food. <laughs> yeah. I'm so full. I feel great. I'm gonna finish this wine. I thought you were gonna say you were gonna finish your plate. I might finish this this bread. This cheesy bread is real good. I can't wait for Colin to try this cheesy bread. He doesn't get any. I finish it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up so we know. How about you guys comment down below what's some weird, crazy jobs that you have done? Mm -hmm. We have done a lot, but we also don't have like any consistency in our life when it comes to dance. So. We take anything you offer us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knows what I'll be doing next week because I sure don't. And uh, Bye. yeah, anything else? I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you very much and we'll see you next time. Mukbang Monday out. out.